Senator from Arizona. Mr. President, I request yes, unanimous consent to address the Senate as if in morning business. Without objection. Mr. President, this week marks 30 years of loyal service to the Senate by one Joe Donahue, my legislative director, 30 years working for the citizens of Arizona and trying to make me a better senator. During those three decades, he worked his way from the mailroom to a position of considerable importance on my staff. He's made himself something of an expert, not only on Senate procedure, but all the many issues our staff has worked on over the years, from budget matters to immigration reform to national security. Joe is capable, intelligence, intelligent, hardworking, and trustworthy, a justifiably proud professional staffer, a pro's pro. He's well liked by staff and members on both sides of the aisle, especially by those who, like him, have dedicated most of their careers to the Senate. I've come to depend on his professionalism and his counsel. More than that, my wife Cindy and my children treasure his friendship, as do I, as do I. Joe and I began our Senate careers around the same time. He started sorting mail and performing other entry-level duties in the fr first year of my first term. He was 18 years old. I wasn't quite that young, but it was a long time ago for both of us. When he came to work with us, I don't think I knew if I was, Joe knew if I was a Republican or a Democrat. He just knew he needed a part-time job to pay for books and beer. These were pre-internet and email days and making certain the immense mail, amount of mail we received from constituents was open, given to me or to appropriate staff and answered as quickly as possible was very labor-intensive and challenging, but he acquitted himself well, as he has with every responsibility he has accepted on my behalf. His work ethic and reliability quickly made him indispensable. He worked his way up to legislative correspondent and then to legislative assistant with the lead responsibility for, among other things, helping me fight years of pitch battles with appropriations bills, targeting wasteful spending, and the practice of earmarking. Those were the days when the Senate actually debated appropriations bills. And I have many fond memories of Joe drafting thousands of amendments at my direction to strike wasteful earmarks. Although I'm not sure they're fond memories for the floor staff who had to process the, amend the, the amendments, as I mentioned. In addition to his legislative work, Joe was my driver for over 20 years. I travel an awful lot back and forth to Arizona on weekends, campaigning for colleagues and on overseas trips. During the week when the Senate is in session, my nights are often consumed with meetings, dinners, and speeches. Joe worked a long shift in the office during the day and driving me to various appointments day and night, taking me to airports and picking me up, getting me safely and on time through Washington traffic to keep a schedule that was always impossibly crowded. We spent a lot of hours together, thousands of hours, and Joe was almost always good company, even when I was not. He always made a point on those drives to tell me a joke, and some of them got me in trouble when I repeated them in public. During my 2008 presidential campaign, Joe worked as my assistant traveling from campaign stop to campaign stop, doing all manner of small and large tasks for me, even once holding an umbrella overhead while I gave a speech in the rain in Manchester, New Hampshire. As my legislative director, Joe is someone everyone on my staff looks to for policy guidance and instruction on Senate procedures and for insights into the personalities and priorities of senior staff in other offices and for the leadership. He goes out of his way to make sure each one of my staff knows they are appreciated and an integral part of our office. Mr. President, I'm grateful for Joe Donahue's faithful service to my office, the Senate, the people of Arizona, and to me. On their behalf and mine, I want to thank Joe. I barked at you, teased you, laughed with you, and counted on you. We've been through a lot of highs and lows in our 30-year association, good times and bad. The good times were better and the bad times easier because of your help and friendship. Thank you, my friend, my dear friend. It's been quite a ride together. I cannot emerge and serve, imagine serving here without you.
Mr. President, I, should, I yield the floor. Mr. President. Majority Leader. I listened carefully to Chairman McCain uh, talking about his long association with Joe. I thought maybe it was appropriate, I'd say to my colleague from Arizona, <laughs> to point out that he eliminated an awful lot of my earmarks over the years. <laughs> so so I'll, I'll have fond reflections as well, in a sense. No, I, I want to just join you, Senator McCain, and congratulating Joe for a great job for you and for our country for a very long time. 